What's up everybody? It's time now to break the magician's code and expose all kinds of music right here on the internet. Just like it was done on TV back in 1997. If you haven't guessed from the title and thumbnail already, this video is going to be looking at and discussing the TV series called Breaking the Magician's Code, Magic's Biggest Secrets Finally Revealed. If you've never heard of the TV show before, then well, 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 you're in for a treat. So let's have a brief overview of the show for those who haven't seen it before. This is a TV show which aired between 1997 and 1998 and also had a TV special which aired in 2002 as well. There was also a TV series that was recorded in 2008 to 2009 and was broadcast on My Network TV. The TV show itself features someone called The Masked Magician which we all found out at a later date was a magician called Val Valentino. The overall premise of the show is that you are shown a magic trick or stage illusion which is performed by the masked magician and his assistants and once you're shown that you are then let into the secret behind this and shown exactly how it's performed which exposes the trick or illusion for everyone who's watching the TV show. I remember watching this with a child, I was about 11 or 12 at the time and I wasn't really into magic but I remember watching it on TV and being impressed by the, the illusions and the mechanics behind them. I know when the TV show aired though there was a a lot of drama within the magic community as a lot of the tricks and illusions were the bread and butter tricks for a lot of stage performers which they perform on a weekly and nightly basis and make their income from. However with exposing these illusions on the TV show people now know all of the methods behind them so when they performed the said illusions after the TV show had aired these illusions would no longer be a mystery and impressive to lay people because they had an understanding and knew exactly how the illusions were performed. As a result of this a lot of magicians had to retire these illusions or had to come up with another way to perform these and keep it fresh for audiences. Fast forward to 2020 when I got into magic I was searching on YouTube for tutorials, performances and basically all of the magic related things that I, I could consume. I discovered that there was a YouTube channel called Magic Secrets Revealed and this was the YouTube channel dedicated to the show and uploaded clips from the show on there. So once I found them, I decided to have a look and watch some of these videos to see if I could remember anything from the TV show when I watched it when I was a child. I do remember though, the first thing that jumped out was the less politically correct commentary, you could say, which was used on the show and definitely hasn't aged well at all. If this was to be a TV show today, cancel culture would definitely be on the phones to the TV station and whoever was airing it and was complaining about how derogative the show was to the female assistants and some of the sexual innuendos that are being used in the show too. Here are just a few examples of the said commentary which is 100% taken from the show and basically when it was aired on the TV this is the commentary which was on there. The magician then calls in one of his beautiful assistants so we can get a good look at her. Cute outfit. And the ponytail is a nice touch. Let's hope she looks as good when he gets through with her. As the assistants seal off the remaining side with another curtain, the magician summons his gorgeous medium though she impresses in a large way. She balls it up with her fingertips and places the wad into her mouth, teasing it with her tongue. Instead of being horrified, it looks like she's really enjoying this. Obviously, the magician has tapped her dark side. So let's talk about the show itself, and for better or worse, Val Valentino, who posed as the masked magician, thrust magic into everyday consumer TV and showed everyone watching just how some of the famous magic illusions were done. Now, to give the show its due, in the newer seasons, there's some harmless throwaway tricks, such as the Vanishing Toothpick, which, funny enough, during the lockdown period, with their TikTok became a massive hit and there was a ton of people performing that trick on the platform and doing so exposing it to millions of people watching it. But a trick like this isn't going to harm a magician's career because I've never seen a magician perform this trick in the wild at all. But when popular illusions such as the zigzag girl and the bed of spikes were very popular stage illusions back when the TV show aired, I can definitely see how damaging it was to some magicians careers as they, they would have had to switch up their act and either remove that illusion from the show or utilize the props in a different way and even sometimes go as far as try and come up with another method to prove to the audience that what they saw on TV is not how it's performed, it's something completely different. Despite all of this controversy in the magic world, when the first special aired in November 1997, the episode actually gained and scored the highest ratings for any Fox specials up until that point. 
In both America and the UK, each episode of the TV show that aired along with the specials have both gathered large audiences and lots of view ratings and people watching the show on their TV. Now that the TV show has been covered, let's talk a little bit more about the masked magician himself, Val Valentino. Val was actually born as Leonard Montano and was born on a very special day, which is the 14th of June, 1956. So what's special about this day, you may be wondering? Well, that's the day that I was born as well, but not 1956, 1986. Val was born in Los Angeles, California, and he also has three children according to Wikipedia. But when he was only five years old, Val got into magic and his very first trick that his father had given to him was when he was poorly and it was the ball and bears trick. When he was in his teens, he also performed with the International Cultural Awareness Program for over a million students throughout the unified school systems. And these performances revealed magic secrets to encourage others to become magicians. When the back end of the 80s rolled around and into the early 90s appeared, Valid moved to Las Vegas and was performing in casino shows such as Viva Las Vegas and Splash. He also appeared in many TV shows and also in a music video, which is funny enough, called Magic Man by Herb Alpert. He also appeared in his own production called Valentino's Magical Extravaganza. When Val was performing in the Las Vegas showrooms, he was approached by Fox regarding the TV show, and as a result, this catapulted his life in many different ways, which were both good and bad. It did take some negotiation with Fox regarding the TV show, but eventually Val signed up for the show and stated that he only revealed the secrets to all delusions only, and even some of the exposed delusions were ways which Val had made up himself and weren't actually anything like the way they were being performed by magicians. He always stood by this basis that revealing the secrets of magic, it would hopefully encourage more people to try magic for themselves and increase the number of magic enthusiasts and people wanting to be magicians. In the TV show, he put on a mask and also used the stage name of the masked magician because he wanted to conceal his true identity and stay anonymous on the show due to the very nature of having magic secrets exposed on the show, revealing it to the audience. However though, in the finale of the final special, Val took off the mask and revealed his true identity to everyone who watched the show and as a result of this, he garnered some notoriety amongst the magic community and also instigated several lawsuits against him. So on to lawsuits. This is where Cindy and Kevin Spencer come into play. They are a husband and wife team of magicians from Virginia and they were touring magicians. The lawsuit stated that due to the TV show, they had to scrap two of their tricks because they were revealed on the show itself. If each of the illusions which they had to scrap were estimated to have cost as much as $50,000, which is the equivalent of something like $90,000 in today's money equivalent. As a result of this, they decided to file a lawsuit against Val. Another magician called Andrea Corley also filed a lawsuit against Val due to him performing an illusion called the Table of Death, which again was exposed on the show and Andrea stated that in the final figure of financial damages, it came to over $500,000 or about $900,000 in today's money, as the trick was apparently licensed to only seven of the top 10 magicians in the world and only they were the one who knew the secrets behind it. With the lawsuit though, there were some difficulties because Andrea's law stated that it was difficult to compile a lawsuit over the loss of a magic trick because allusions are not among the intellectual properties covered by a copyright law, but the lawyer did state that the magicians and designers of magic tricks haven't had to take those steps with magic or illusions in the past as a handshake has worked for several centuries. In the modern day, when you're flicking through TikTok, Instagram, YouTube and Facebook, you're littered with videos where there's people who are they're exposing magic tricks just like some of the TV show. Some of them are even products which are being bought from a magician who has created the magic trick to help fund their living and they're exposing the gimmicks, the methods and so much more. There's been so many videos online talking about this and if it's wrong or right and the majority of people agree that it's fine to teach and show magic on platforms like YouTube if they are shown in a long form content discussions, tricks and methods and everything else surrounding it as it's talking routines, outs and other related things. Well, apart from marketed magic tricks, which of course takes money from the creator, so that's a no-no. If people are going to sit down to a video which is 10 minutes or longer to learn some magic, then those are people who are truly interested in magic and want to learn magic. Those videos teaching this are generally seen as something positive. Well, to the majority of magicians, but there are still some people set in their way who think it's frowned upon and shouldn't exist. However, the feelings of some magicians of people having a 15 second video on socials which exposes a magic trick shows the trick is something which is majorly frowned upon in the magic community. It's discussed heavily on magic forums and magic groups. Like I said in the video, 
marketed tricks which are sold by performers and creators, people taking those tricks, teaching it, exposing it and showing it on social media is definitely a no-go because that is something that is taking money from that creator because they've spent time doing that. There's there's a thin line between that and showing tutorials and creating stuff on things which are old so they may have gone out of a copyright or they may be something based on something that was done hundreds of years ago and while someone did create that there's there is the time difference between when that was created and when people are showing that so things like red hot mama and other things like that like out of this world those are tricks which aren't marketed by magicians as such they were created many many years ago and shown in books and things like that and a lot of those books have reached the copyright expiry so people can show these and freely distribute it like the the original tarbell course i believe is now out of copyright the tarbell book volumes are not but the original one is so anything in that original tarbell course can freely be shared around and freely marketed by people because it's out of the copyright. There's a website as well called Library, I believe it is, which has a section for copyright free magic books. So I think things like Expert, Expert at the Card Table and a few other old magic books, other books and other publications which have lapsed the copyright. So can be distributed in PDFs and other things like that free of charge due to this copyright. So sometimes when you want to learn some tricks, sometimes the older things are the best. So you can read the books and read these copyright free PDFs online and you can get a whole host of different magic tricks that you can learn from it. I want to know your thoughts on the TV show and the new wave of magic exposure videos around on social media. Do you love them? Do you hate them? Are you not fussed by them? Please drop your thoughts in the comments below and also drop a comment what you thought about the Mass Magician TV show. Did you watch it when it was aired or the same? Did you like it? Did you hate it? Also, if you made it all the way through the video and you've enjoyed the content, please remember to give the channel a subscribe. Turn on the notification bell to be notified of future videos like this. Give the video a like to show your appreciation. Until next time, see ya.